I've been asked quite a lot recently how custom image templates compare to Nerdio. I'm going to compare one of the features, scripted actions, to that of custom image templates. For those who haven't heard of Nerdio, I'll pop a link in the description. They're an ISV who build management capabilities on top of native Azure Virtual Desktop. In a previous video, I went through the custom image templates portal feature. If you haven't seen that, I'll post a link and you can watch that first. I'm going to add a custom image template and give it a name. You can create templates through customizations. Here I'm going to import my existing template that I used in the previous video. We'll quickly proceed through the wizard by selecting an image gallery definition and then giving it a version. Just going to quickly step through the build properties. Again, there's more info in my previous video on this. You can add your own scripts or use the built in scripts. We're just going to add configure RDP short path for managed networks. Once we hit create, the image template will be ready for build. You'll see the new image with the build status have not yet started. So let's go and start the build. So there you go. That's how Azure Image Builder does it. Let's see how Nerdio does it differently. We're in the Nerdio Manager dashboard and we can create desktop images and apply scripted actions. There are two types of scripted action, window scripts and Azure runbooks. Runbooks use Azure automation and can be used to make changes at an environment level outside the context of a specific Azure VM. Window scripts are similar to that in Azure Image Builder. They are PowerShell scripts that you can create your own or use the built-in ones. You can link your own script repositories by going to the settings and integrations in there. You'll find the script repositories where you can add a GitHub or Azure DevOps repository. Let's go and start creating desktop images and adding those scripted actions. Let's give it a name and then let's select the Azure image that we're going to use to build. As you can see, there's a large list of marketplace images as well as your own Azure Compute Gallery images. We're going to select a Windows 22 H2 with Microsoft 365 apps. Nerdy allows you to select whether you want to join the image to an AD domain as well as enable time zone redirection and setting the time zone. It also allows you to remove the FSLogix apps if you want to install a later version. Here's where we apply scripted actions at the image creation stage. You can scroll down the list. Like in my previous video, I'm going to install Notepad++. You can also type in the name of the scripted action and it will search for you. I'm going to install VS Code as well. It's going to start creating that desktop image in the background. Clicking on details will give you a status of what's going on. Let's go to the Azure portal and see what's happening behind the scenes. Here you can see our Windows 11 virtual machine. Azure is in the process of creating the virtual machine from the marketplace image. Now that the machine is running, if we go to extensions, you'll see that the machine is now joining the domain because we selected that previously in the Nerdio wizard. The status has changed to provisioning succeeded, so that has now joined the domain. And in Nerdio, the details have updated to reflect this change.
You'll see now that Nerdio is installing the time zone redirection extension. This was one of the default options when creating a desktop image. Going back to the Azure portal, we can see that this uses the custom script extension. This is a very powerful extension that allows you to run PowerShell scripts on the virtual machine. I'm just going to reset the password so I can log on and show you what's happening behind the scenes. Let's connect to the desktop. I use Azure Bastion because it provides a secure way of connecting to the desktop without opening RDP. Now that the desktop's loaded, Let's go into File Explorer and open up the C drive. You will see a folder called Packages and in there a folder called Plugins. This is where the extensions are stored. In the Runtime Settings folder, there is a file called 0.settings. This contains the data pushed from the ARM deployment. Normally I use Notepad, but for some reason this isn't working, so let's use Word. The extension allows settings to be stored in two types. Public settings is stored in plain text, and protected settings are encrypted through a key known to Azure and the VM. Here you'll see that this one is stored in plain text. It checks for a registry path and if not there, it creates it. It also creates a new DWORD setting for enabling time zone redirection. Nerdia then uninstalls the extension as you can only have one custom script extension at a time. Once the base VM has been created, before any scripted actions are applied, the machine is then stopped. The disk of the template virtual machine is then copied and another temporary machine is created to carry out the scripted actions. Here you can see that custom script extension again running. To reset in the password, let's connect to the VM again by Jean Bastian. You can see that Visual Studio Code is already installed, so it must be doing those scripts in the background. Let's go back into the extension directory and let's have a look at those runtime settings. Again, we'll open the file with Microsoft Word. Just remembered I could have opened it with Notepad++ because that's also installed. This time the extension is using protected settings, which means it is encrypted. This is good to guard against credentials being stored in plain text. Now that the image has been created, I want to show you where you can use scripted actions not just in image creation, but also in the host pools themselves. So we go into our dynamic host pool. Then go to the properties and VM deployment. And here you can see that scripted actions can be run when a VM is created, started, stopped or removed. This can be really powerful because some applications create unique identities that are incompatible for imaging. And running scripted actions when a host VM is removed is great for clearing up. So that concludes my demo of Azure Image Builder and Nerdio scripted actions. There's also a lot of features 
such as auto scaling and dynamic host pools that makes Nerdio a great product. I'd just like to say thanks for watching and if there's anything you want me to cover let me know in the comments. Thanks.